You know, I, um, I stood on the stage and watched Marco and rather indignantly look at Governor Bush and say, someone told you that because we're running for the same office, that criticizing me will get you to that office. It appears that the same someone's been whispering in old Marco's ear, too. Um, and so the indignation that you carry on some of this stuff, you have to also own then. So let's set the facts straight. First of all, I didn't support Sonia Sotomayor. Secondly, I never wrote a check to Planned Parenthood. Third, if you look at my record as governor of New Jersey, um, I have vetoed a 50 caliber rifle ban. I have vetoed a reduction in, in clip size. I have vetoed a statewide ID system for gun owners. And I have pardoned six, six out-of-state folks who came through our state and were arrested for owning a gun legally in another state so they never had to face charges. And on Common Core, Common Core has been eliminated in New Jersey. So listen, this is the difference between being a governor and being a senator. See, when you're a senator, what you get to do is just talk and talk and talk, and you talk so much that nobody can ever keep up with what you're saying is accurate or not. When you're a governor, you're held accountable for everything you do. And the people of New Jersey have seen it. And the last piece is this. I like Marco, too. And two years ago, he called me a conservative reformer that New Jersey needed. That was before he was running against me. Now that he is, he's changed his tune. I'm never going to change my tune. I like Marco Rubio. He's a good guy, a smart guy, and he would be a heck of a lot better president than Hillary Rodham Clinton would ever be.